1976 was a different time, different styles. Three young men did not want to wear cap and gowns because that's what those other kids do. So we told them, well, at least you have to look nice. You can't wear what you usually wear. So they went to get tuxedos. Now keep in mind, pale blue, <laughs> other paisley colors and things like that was very acceptable in 1970. Tracy. Tuxedo. That is one thing that has changed about graduations. There are not much colors in touch. Well, almost. <laughs> <laughs> but those three young men, uh, we decided they deserved a ceremony because they had spent 13 or 14 years trying to finish high school. So we wanted to make sure that they were recognized. So we had a little ceremony. We knew that it was going to be extremely short if we called their names and walked across the stage, we gave them a diploma and they walked to the other side. I'm sure it would be over before most people sat down. So we decided that we'd do things a little differently. We introduced each one of them to the rest of the, the crowd because we wanted everybody to know what we had learned about these three young men. And as each one came up to get his diploma, he was given the opportunity to give a short impromptu speech, which they did. This is our 39th year that we're still doing the same thing. Each one of these graduates will be introduced to you. You will find out something about them, and they will have a chance to speak from their heart. Since sometime in the 90s, we entered the generation that will probably be known as the dot-com group. There have been many unconventional entrepreneurs that have made millions and billions and changed the world as we know it. Many people refer to that as thinking outside of the box. But for the young man I'm going to introduce here in a minute, there is no box. Unless it has a video game on it. <laughs> and he knows more about those things and how they work and is already in the professional ranks among the players and still has remained that wonderful little boy quality that probably drives his parents crazy and has <laughs> me on occasion. But that wonderful innocence that Eagerness, hunger, I want to know more. I don't want to do more, but I want to know more. <laughs> and has been such an asset to our school. You came from JP2, yeah. what, sophomore year? Yeah, into my freshman year. Into freshman year. So he's another one that it just seems like he's always been there. And when we start back up next August and he's not at the game console, I'm going to miss him. 
when I start a class and someone's not there, I'll go look at the game console and it won't be Alan, or Hamlin. It might still be out. <laughs> <laughs> Hamlin, you are one in a billion. And in 40 years of working with kids, I've probably seen close to a billion, or so it seems. And you're one that will always stand out as one of the most unique and one of the most wonderful, one of the most sincere, sweet, and just good people through and through. And I've only seen one other male student that looks better in a dress than you do. <laughs> if you have questions about that, ask us. <laughs> Hamlin Gross. Hi, Hamlin. respect that the teachers and students and everyone there has for each other. No other school do you go in during any time of year, any from seventh grade up, and everyone from every class, every teacher treats you with respect by default. You don't, you're not scared of anyone, you expect to learn from everyone, and that's something that's really special that's not at any other school that I can think of. No one at the school will leave unchanged, it, and everyone changes for the better. It's one of the best things that I can think of, of this school happening to anyone. And that's really special. <laughs> 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 I need more personal. Focus on the hair. You guys hanging out? Together? <laughs> Friends? No, I'm going home. Yeah. I don't know. This kid's talking to me. He just came up to us and started talking. <laughs> yeah. We don't know. He name. paid me to come here today. <laughs> Who is this man recording us? I am Hamlin's father. <laughs> oh Wait, God. why do I sound like a ghost? <laughs> you father. Seriously? I'm not even joking. Oh, dude, my condolences. <laughs> you don't, this is, don't film this. This is too much. <laughs> okay, sorry. Congratulations. Do you want me to feel your inner leg? Your inner leg, bro. Hello. 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 Right. This is forever <laughs> Good. I want people to know, brother. <laughs> You shouldn't be okay, Dad, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you, Ghost of my Dad. I wanted to catch you being friendly at the end. Oh, man. You're just gonna let him just keep your hand in his back and, like, yeah, he said that. Whatever. Yeah, for the road. Here, one more for the road. All right, you guys. All right. Dad, please. Please. I like your dad. I don't care. I'm leaving. Bye. I was just like, oh, you see